What's up, guys? Paul here, back with another episode of The Last of Us 2 here on The School Zone. So, last week's episode ended with quite a shake-up, you know, when Ellie finally confronted Joel about the truth of the Fireflies. Ellie's reaction was a little emotionally jarring, you know, and I wanted to take some time to think about it, you know, if it was justified and perhaps why she reacted the way she did. I mentioned that after I had some time to digest it, I'd start this episode with my thoughts. Now, if you want to just skip ahead and get straight to the action, I'll leave a time code below. No offense if you don't want to hear me pontificate about this. But if you do, you know, I do have some pretty deep thoughts about it. So, after catching up with Ellie in Salt Lake City where it all went down, you know, Joel was finally cornered by Ellie about the truth. Now, this also resurfaces the big point of controversy from the end of the first game, too. I imagine if you're watching part two here, you're not too worried about spoilers from part one because you've already seen it or played it. If you haven't, then definitely you want to pause this video and watch my full part one walkthrough. It's pretty awesome. So I think the controversy was threefold. Whether Joel should have rescued Ellie in the first place, whether he should have slaughtered the fireflies to do it, and whether he should have lied to Ellie about the whole matter. You know, I'm going to actually do a final analysis when the game is over, giving you my full opinions about the entirety of the situation and whether Joel was justified and all that. Here, I just wanted to address Ellie's reaction from last episode. So first, we need to remember a few things, you know. As much as the survivors have made the best of the post-apocalyptic world, especially with Jackson, you know, looking like a real comeback story, you know, post-apocalyptic life is still no life at all. You know, the struggle is real and the mental toll it must take on the survivors is pretty heavy. The closest you can probably liken it is to the state of mind of soldiers, you know, in the middle of a world war. The soldiers aren't thinking about retirement plans on the beach, you know, they're only thinking about storming the beach and making sure their brothers in arms all make it home alive. So, when so many people die around you, it must be difficult to find meaning in life. And therefore, even the smallest sacrifices can have the biggest meanings, whether that's falling on a grenade to save your platoon or running back into enemy fire to save a fallen comrade. In the case of Ellie, she had built up this legacy of meaning behind her immunity, especially during their journey together. You know, it reminds me a bit of the journey that Frodo and Samwise took during The Hobbit. But anyway, uh, for Ellie to go through that emotional journey only to be told by Joel when she wakes up that she's not special after all, and there are plenty of people like her, and her sacrifice would have been useless, you know, must have been quite a blow to both her identity and her meaning of life. Not only that, but she was probably already plagued with a lot of inner turmoil. You know, things like survivor's guilt, which is also something soldiers go through after a war. Like in Ellie's case, you know, why Riley, you know, her first real love uh, from one of the DLCs of the first game, you know, why she didn't make it, and Ellie did. And, and so while Ellie's reaction did seem a little over the top, it had probably been years in the building, you know? The other important factor was that she probably felt that Joel had stripped her of her own choice. Uh, he had made the decision for her, uh, for what Ellie probably sees as selfish reasons. You know, Joel couldn't save his own daughter, so he redeemed his own survivor's guilt by saving Ellie. Uh, it, that's at least what she was probably thinking about. Uh, to Ellie, no one had the right to take away that choice, even if it meant sacrificing herself. Now, in Joel's defense, the Fireflies went about the whole situation completely the wrong way. Marlene should have had a sit-down with Ellie, Joel, and the operating surgeon to discuss the risks and rewards of the procedure. You know, presented their case, and then given Ellie the choice to make for herself. Instead, they took away that choice from both Ellie and Joel. Their minds were already made up, you know, they weren't going to take no for an answer. And I know what some people are thinking, well, if it saves the rest of humanity, there's no other choice. It, it's tough, I know, and there's, there's no clean answer to it. Honestly, though, what they should have done, and this is just my opinion, <laughs> What they should have done is run a series of vaccine trials with Ellie alive first, before they killed her. You know, they could have done things like extracted blood, plasma, even spinal fluid to see if there was a way to replicate antibodies. You know, sort of like the way that convalescent plasma therapy is now a thing with the coronavirus. You know, who knows what they could have discovered? I mean, what if Ellie ended up being more valuable alive than dead, you know, as sort of a living factory for the antivirus? Instead, they rushed right to the most extreme option and forced Joel's hand. So the majority of the blame, in my opinion, lies on the Fireflies. They're the ones, ultimately, that screwed the pooch, you know? So Ellie never got a choice. Joel never got a choice. 
And also, Ellie never got a chance to talk to any of them because she was kept unconscious the whole time. So she kept the fireflies on this pedestal that she had grown up believing, you know, for her life because she was sort of raised by the by the fireflies and therefore transferring all the blame to Joel. And Joel, being the kind of man a few words that he is, didn't really mount a lengthy defense for himself in the last episode. So all that leads up to Ellie feeling justified to blow up the way she did, you know. It was kind of interesting, though, that Joel went from lying about the situation to coming out and telling Ellie the truth in a way that, like, left him no room for cause. So maybe he figured that she would calm down and he'd have the chance to give her more nuanced details over time. But then they just never got around to it or maybe she wouldn't let him. But then you have to figure that maybe this is why Ellie is on such a hardcore journey of reprisal for Joel. You know, maybe she never felt she had the opportunity to uh, apologize to him for overreacting or not seeing things from his point of view, or even a little gratitude for saving her life, you know? I, I think deep down, she really knew that he cared for her deeply, and she just let her inability to let go of grudges, which we've seen as a trend so far in this game, you know, unintentionally run out the clock. So now she's on a mission to not only avenge Joel, but to give her renewed meaning in life, you know? Anyway, there's so much more I can go and say about this, but I'll save the rest of it for that final analysis video. In the meantime, let's jump into some gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, my little musing there. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. And uh, I really appreciate all the positive comments I've been getting on this series so far. Even if the view count is low, uh, the group that we have that's watching it is just super psyched about it. And that makes me happy. So, you know, it's not always about the money, uh, although it'd be nice to make a living off of this. You know, just having that community uh, bolster your reasons for for doing videos like this, you know, makes me feel good. So hit that subscribe button, throw a like on the video, and let's do this. Dina? Jesse? The war, the merrier. Hey, look, Joel. It's your favorite. Ooh, this is a part of the theater we haven't seen before. Interesting. Just want to check it out for a second. This is pretty cool. Huh. You know, to always run towards the red light, that's the exit, right? <laughs> Dina? Jesse? Where are those two? Uh oh. Yep, no time for practice. Something's going down here. Maybe not. because of me. 
Maybe you could take her back. She's not gonna leave without you. Yeah. Screw it. Let's get to home. This aquarium that girl told you about. Tommy hasn't found Abby yet. We'll post up there until he does. And you're good with leaving Dina by herself? Her orders. Okay. Let's go tell her we're leaving then. I'll just meet you up front. to lock the door for us. Okay. Let's do it. Your map showed the aquarium along the shore. Should be down this way. Yeah. <sighs> Does anyone stay dry in this city? <laughs> so I just wanted to make a comment real quick. That last scene just now was really interesting because it was almost like a microcosm of the whole thing with Ellie and Joel in the hospital. You know, at least Ellie was consistent about telling the truth. But the difference was in this case that Dina had the choice and she was also awake. <laughs> you know, she was conscious. She, you know, gave the blessing for them to go ahead and leave her alone and, and uh, finish this, uh, this mission, you know, before they turn back. So, uh, yeah, this game presents you with a lot of little interesting, uh, you know, moral decisions, you know. How are we getting up there? Oh, cool. Come on, help me up. Well, this is kind of neat, you know. We finally get to... Uh, okay, go for it. Have another traveling companion. This time it's Jesse. I was wondering if we were gonna get to uh, to travel with him. Okay. Thanks. Hope he's ready for this. <laughs> what did you tell Dean? They were hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't tell her you knew. If that's what you're. I wasn't. This aquarium a wolf base? I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some. Fireflies, no, former fireflies. What kind of falling out? Uh, he was a smuggler, and they disagreed about some goods. Fight broke out, some of them died. I guess they wanted payback. Damn. That changed anything for you? Nope. I need to get clear on something. When we find Tommy, you're good with going home. Yeah. You'll be leaving some of those assholes alive. Dina should be back in Jackson. Okay. Good. Hmm. That's interesting. She telling the truth there? Has the mission changed?
shit. Locked. Think we can cut through that convention center? Let's try it. Okay. Seem to be clear. Let's do a little exploring real quick. Oh, I see some duct tape. I see a light through here. Jammed? Yeah. Jackson after us. What do you mean? I mean, we're going through a lot of their people. In their city. Because of what they did. Didn't Abby and her friends come to Jackson because of something Joel did? This place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah. They did. I'm just going to check real quick how we're doing on everything. We can make another one of those. Yeah, let's do that. And Wow, we're doing we're doing good. Let's see where we're at. 36. Okay, so now I can probably start deciding which uh secondary path I'm going down. All right, we got faster health kits. Increased health. That one's pretty cool, but let's see what we got here. Master crafting, smoke bombs, improved health. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't think either of these make a difference, really. I guess increased health would be good, so let's start down this path. How long has Dina been this sick? Only a couple days. When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. You'd have been impressed. I bet. You don't cross that. Good nice. Way. All right. Let's check around here real quick. Take that. And we got a prone under here. Oh, it's a workbench. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see if there's any little parts around here first. Oh, another card. Tormentra. <laughs> that sounds like a villain. That is pretty cool. They're getting creative with these uh with these little cards here, aren't they? Okay. Let's see if I can upgrade anything now. Ah, finally. Draw speed. All right, that'll make a slight difference there. And I don't have enough to build anything else, so let's keep going.
Okay, we are clear. she tell me about it? It's the pregnancy. Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it when she... <laughs> going down today. All the units are being rounded up. Who did you hear it from? Oh, that's cool. It turned off my uh, flashlight automatically. Alright, so we're dealing with some wolves way down there. It won't be like that. I thought he was going to jump Take down. Let me swap this out for the rifle. Over there! No! Nice. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Wolves, Back to the old verbal cues. They're at war with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about seraphines or something, seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have two areas to check. Over there and over here. And I think straight ahead is ultimately the direction we want to go. So let me check out over here real quick. I'll definitely take that. Oh, we are now full on shotgun ammo. Awesome. Okay, and then let's check over here.
Nice. Nah, I'll keep it for now. Scooby Snacks! See, that's why I don't run and immediately use a, a health kit after I've been damaged, because I know if you explore a little bit, you'll find those snacks, and then you can save the uh, health kits for more emergency situations. Okay, now what? Maybe we can head down there? Okay, moving on. Uh, that was a restaurant in game one. I gave a little pop-up about that. Ooh. Okay, so we're probably headed into this expo area, but let me just see if we can get into this building. Or what? Mr. B's pretzels. Okay, I don't think we can get in there, so we're heading into the What's up with all these posters? It's a bunch of comics. Wait, what was happening here? Gathering for people who were really into this stuff. Like you basically. We were born in the wrong time, man. All right, just had to check real quick. All right, now. Make me waste time opening empty drawers. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's up and over that van. I think we've covered this area, so let's move along. Another prone situation. Oh, did you see that scroll on the wire? That was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so we want to head that way, but this looked like something I can go under here. Ooh, I can go that way too. What's what's that mean? What were you saying before about Dina? You said she'll tell me when. Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's gonna keep it? I don't. Okay, so that was just another situation where. Uh, the game looked bigger than it actually is. Man, the designers must have so much fun making a game like this. I know it's probably a lot of work, but it must be really rewarding. That Ferris wheel. 
He's hoping Tommy has the same info. It's like we're swimming. It looks like you're swimming. <laughs> Ooh, a fishy. Look at that. That was awesome. All right. Let me see if I can go under this algae. Hey, fishy. Awesome. I didn't have to touch the pond scum. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Where now? Um. Yeah. Working on it. Here as much. Oops. Infected. Infected. Oh, there we go. Over there. Stalker. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I thought that was Jesse for a second. There was like an arrow on him. I totally could have shot him. I was like, we don't want no friendly fire. <laughs> Missed opportunity. <laughs> oh well. Oh, uh, now he's hiding. <laughs> Goodness. Took a bunch of shots, huh? Right there. Oh, come on, man. How many times I gotta shoot that guy? Shoot him, Jesse. Okay. I think we got them both at the same time. I don't hear anything. Is that it? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Awesome. Teamwork. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. We got more. Oh. Okay. Whoa! Nice. Okay, cool. You're good. I am going to heal myself a little bit, though. And that's because I have the stuff to make another one. Ooh. Nah, I'll make a Molotov. <laughs> okay. Now that's it. This place looks like a dead end. 
Yeah. Oh, and there's Thank a medikit right. right there. Perfect. Oh, and a new machete. Right on. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so I think uh, I think they said that this is a dead end, so probably just have to go back. Go Team Jackson. Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> right on. This way. After you. Okay. I don't think there's any way to avoid the scum this time. Okay. Here we go. I wonder if there's anything over there, if it's just a secondary way around. Oh, what's this? Think you can get through there? Let's see. Okay, I guess that was the way we're supposed to go then. <laughs> told me you were leaving I just I didn't think you'd be okay with all this I looked up to Joel what happened to him is messed up I would have come Joel liked you a lot too you know he used to think I had a crush on you <laughs> really <laughs> I mean, you're handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. What, Asians? Yeah, <laughs> that's obviously what I meant. He's already dead. How'd you get up here? Jesus. What happened up here? These guys really have it in for each other. I think it goes back years. Wonder how it all started. With a Molotov. Oh, that's interesting. Just an explosive arrow lying around. <laughs> okay, it, what's interesting is I can't create another one of these because it crafts two at a time. So, might as well craft one of these. And one of these. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. Cool. We're doing good on that. Yeah. That's what I figured. Little bookstore and a coffee shop side by side. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so that means probably something big coming up. Dog. Oh, I see one way up there. Do you see that? What? That was a direct hit. Don't tell me his bullet drop. God, the first time I melee the dog. I'm so sorry. Oh, at, le at least with the bombs and the Molotovs, kind of hands off, you know. But that was that was pretty brutal. It's gonna have to be a quick, a quick aim situation. Report. Anyone spot them yet? Damn it, people! The fuck did they go? I think it came from back there. I need to get you a silencer, man. Okay, so there's two more I see. That one on the bottom will be shooting at me. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to give a little room for bullet drop there. Look at all that sway, man. After all I put points into, there's still that sway. That's crazy. Okay, I think we probably just want to get closer and do this a little more up front. So, well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think he's the last one. Nope, oh, no, there's two. We have another sniper. I'm going to hop this and check out in here and maybe like outflank them or something. There we go. Now there's only one left. So, yeah. Let's go back to our plan about flanking them.
Do I not see him because he's crouching or what? Okay, that's too tall for me to climb. But I can do this. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, so which way do we go? That way. All right. One. So, yeah. Let's see what's in here. This place makes me appreciate Jackson, man. Me too. Nice. We're doing good on health. on all that. Let's craft some stuff. Ooh, looks like we're... Okay. Safe combo. Safe combo. Nope. <laughs> Jewels. Oh, flip. Okay. Okay, they mentioned Gray in a, a note earlier. I guess it turned out to be him. Man, we're full on all this ammo and stuff. Huh. Let me just see if I can go out this window real quick. I can. Awesome. Okay, so let's check the place across the way, and then we'll move on. Oh, okay. It just goes forward anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Anakins. <laughs> Freaked me for a second there. Are we going under that thing? Yeah, we are. Okay. Alright, I think we're good to go. Okay, so we want to go that way. But I'm going to check over here first, and it doesn't look like... Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go! Hey, why don't we head up to that bridge and get our bearings? Yeah, good thinking. Uh, we can check in here, though. Okay, we are clear. Okay, that looks like a place we can prone under before we do that. Let me just see. Okay.
think Abby picked the aquarium on purpose because it's so damn hard to get to. <laughs> Maybe. I just want to check all these little areas because I feel like there hasn't been a, like a special item in a while, you know? Oh, there's a workbench. Cool. Um, you know, like a weapon or a magazine. I know, I think we probably got all the magazines, but, uh, feels like there should be something else that's coming up. Just kind of has that about time vibe going on. Okay, so we've completed the bow. And we've almost completed the rifle. I probably don't really need capacity on that, so I'm probably going to maybe fire rate. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with everything I've got so far, so we'll just save the points and check out over here. What was that? Nothing. Okay, was there a thing I could... Where was that thing I could crawl into? Maybe it's the same the same place, but I think it was down here. Yeah, right there. I just want to see if this is like a special room. No, it just goes up to the same place. Okay. Wow, how did I miss that? <laughs> okay. Uh Oh, there we go. And point of no return. <laughs> okay. So this seems like it's going to move on to an entirely new area. So I'm going to end the episode here and get back with you guys next Saturday. Thanks so much for watching and uh, showing your support for this series. Don't forget, not only do I have a Patreon, but I have that join button now. So if you don't want to go through the trouble of uh, signing up for a new account on Patreon, you can just hit that join button to support the School Zone and everything I do here. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this video around, throw a like on it and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay smart!